we have a segment. We have our first segment on the show and my favorite segment on the show. Oh yeah, it's happening. Tea time. Tea time is my favorite segment on the show because we de- we delve into the hot steamy gossip of the sports world and this week he's back in the news. Incredible Urban Meyer the worst NFL coach in the league. I have the Tom Pelissero article in front of me. The tension boiling over between Coach Urban Meyer, Jaguars players, staff, um, amid their 2-10 and 10 start. When I say that this man needs to learn to be quiet, Urban, read the room, pal. Read the room. Learn when to shut your mouth. There has been... This is what um, I've read from this specific article, which is like the the main uh, nucleus of this entire story, if you will. Apart from what happened a couple, you know, a month or whatever. I don't even know how long ago this was. When we talked about this, um, I believe it was with Ruth the Truth was when Urban did this entire thing with the blonde and the bar in Ohio and all that kind of stuff after they lost. And that wasn't even a win. Um... This is what has happened within the past two weeks from sources. Um, I'm just going to read you off what, what's on this article. The first thing here is receiver Marvin Jones, who is said to be the locker room's most respected and mild-mannered veterans, became so angry with Meyer's public and private criticism of the receiver group that he left the facility until an other staff members convinced him to come back and had a heated argument with Meyer during practice. Do you know the amount of money I would have spent to see this happen live with my eyes, with my own two eyes? Incredible. There was another time during a staff meeting where Urban was delivering a message that he is a winner and his assistant coaches are losers. Sir, sir, do you realize you're the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars and you're at two and 10? That has nothing to do with your assistant coaches. Maybe they aren't the best. You know, I can't, I can't attest for that. But you're the head coach. You are the person who is running this team. You cannot place blame on other people. Like, the vibes Urban Meyer gives me is the guy from the Titanic who uses a small child to get on a lifeboat to save himself. That's the vibes Urban Meyer gives me. So the fact that he decided to say, I'm a winner. No, 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 sir. You're maybe a winner in college football. You are not a winner in pro football. There are two very different things. You are not a winner, sir. Not in this league. Not in this league. All right, next on the list here. Contrary to his public statements that it was injury-related, Meyer ordered Robinson's benching after an opening drive fumble in last week's 37-7 road loss to the Rams, then had running backs coach Bernie Parmalee stop Robinson from re-entering the game, insisting Carlos Hyde, who played at Ohio State for Urban Meyer, stayed in. Oh, only after Lawrence questioned Meyer on the sideline about Robinson's absence, was Robinson allowed to return late to the second quarter? Nepotism! I guess so. some sort of nepotism of some, of some way. That Urban saw a guy, fumbled the ball. He was like, you're bet. You know, if, if that is the way that you want to coach, fine. Fine, man. Do you. But you put somebody in and he's like, hey, coach, I'm ready to go back in. No, 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 no. My guy from my school is going to play. Bro, are you kidding me? It is insane. And the fact that so many people have talked about how frustrated they are because of Urban Meyer, like he's got to go. And I know Sean Khan, who is the owner of the Jaguars, has said that he's going to think very hardly, very hardly. He is going to think hardly hard about it he's going to try and figure out the future of this team whether urban's gonna go or not if he doesn't if urban doesn't get fired i i would i want to fire him i want to fire urban meyer 
Urban Meyer is one of the worst pro football head coaches. And the thing is, too, Urban, you'll be a god in Ohio or back in the college football game. Maybe you'll be a winner there, as you've been so highly expecting yourself to be a winner. No, no, buddy. Go back to college. This is not your scene. And people aren't respecting you. And also, I really hope Miss Shelley, your wife, has something to say about all of this as well. She definitely deserves to have something to say about all of this. Because you had a college girl's butt in your area at a bar. It just, it, it's, ugh, he has me so mad. And the fact that it's not even just the players, it's the staff. It is all this stuff. So, oh, oh, I'm, I'm reading something and there's even more here. In July, the NFL fined the Jaguars $200,000 and Meyer 10, uh, sorry, $100,000 for violating rules on organized team activities and docked the team two OTA days in 2022. In September, the NFL Players Association announced it was launching an investigation after Meyer acknowledged the reporters that the team factored vaccination status into its cut-down decisions. That's wild! 24 players were cut. 23 of those 24 players were vaccinated. So would that mean that he didn't want vaccinated players on his team? That's insane. Again, there's so much to go in here. There is, I mean, I could delve far I could tell far into this. You guys know I could. But that's just the surface. And this Tom Palacero article is really, really great. And it is just feeds. It feeds my drama veins, my tea time veins for the NFL. But that is our tea time for this week. Let me know what you guys think about Urban Meyer. I want to know. I want to know what you guys have to say about this. Because me, in my eyes, this man is basura. He is trash. He is just absolute trash. So hopefully he gets fired at the end of the year. I think Trevor Lawrence deserves better, to be quite honest with you. The entire Jaguars organization deserves better. You know, it'd be incredible if after all of this, Urban leaves, they get in some other person who just really works with this team. And all of a sudden, Trevor Lawrence starts thriving in the way that like Mac Jones is thriving with Bill Belichick right now. Like, I would love that for him. And it would just prove to everyone that Urban Meyer is garbage. Okay. <laughs>